Welcome to Coco Sports. I am the huge one, again, idiot Dave Coco from DaveEcosio.com. I always stream on twitch.tv forward slash Coco Sports, and this is a review of DDT, King of DDT 23 Final in Cork and Hall. Only 677 fans. I don't want to. I don't want to hit on the attendance too much, but I really feel like we have to start lowering the prices in Japan. Or we have to start doing something. Uh, a couple of years ago, there was a saying: if you can't sell out Corican, you shouldn't be in business. And then the sniffles came along. You know, it doesn't matter where you are: New Japan, WWE, the Indies. Like no one drops their prices. And I, I don't know. Um, if I was a business, I would want to pack the place. Because you could sell more merch, you could get more eyeballs on you, the product looks better, and if you can mathematically figure it out what the lowest you can to pack something, you should. This is not an attack on DDT, it's an attack on all of Japanese pro wrestling, and maybe North American wrestling. I don't know, I haven't talked to promoters in a long time in North, in North America, or Europe, or the Australias, or New Zealand. I haven't even talked to anyone on Mars. <laughs> fucking loser anyway um as always we ask you win loss or tie what did you think of this event i thought this event was a huge win but a deserving winner but the first two matches are very hardcore ddd comedy it's not for everybody and i think the semi-main event we'll go through it is a death match i know that isn't for everybody so uh the actual king of ddt tournament some solid wrestling um, some people against hardcore deathmatch type stuff. Some people against extreme comedy. Um, just imagine Taguchi times 5,000 if you've never watched DDT because Taguchi is just a cheap <laughs> cheap imitation of DDT. And thank God Taguchi has dropped that for the Super Juniors. But man, what a time to be... What a time. What just There's so much wrestling. And I feel like all the wrestling is good. I know my Jersey accent and me pointing out bad stuff... People are a little sensitive and think I'm negative all the time. But the King of DDT was good. Uh, the tournament for the Women's Strong title was good. I'll probably try to do a review of that. Uh, the Super Juniors has been fantastic. Um, Roman Reigns has been very entertaining. AEW, outside of this next pay-per-view, I'm kind of excited what's going on. I feel like this pay-per-view is coming at a bad time. But I think that's pretty good. All right. I give it a win. With two warnings. If you're against hardcore death matches, skip a match. And the pre-show, if you're against comedy or extreme comedy, I would skip that. Um, all right, let's go break this down. Dark match, first dark match. It's only six minutes. It's mostly dancing and mostly, as the kids would say, man-ass. You got sexy, dan dandy, and fantastic. Uh, the pheromones defeat Akito, Okada, not that Okada, Rikia by uh, TKO when Ino used radio Taiso exercise on Rukia. Basically, they did some popular like PE dance where they were butt naked and just. <laughs> if you've seen a pheromones match, you know. If you haven't seen a pheromones match, it's really hard to describe without it sounding like, you know, the old uh, you can pee. Wait, wait for it, wait for it. Uh, do, 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 wait. Orn. <laughs> I don't think you're allowed to say that on YouTube. But, uh, yeah. So, yeah, overall, uh, fun, exciting match. Dark comedy. I don't even say dark comedy, just edgy comedy. Uh, next dark match, you got Sayaguchi, Akai, Tako, Yuni, and Yuki Shida defeat uh, Owashi, Oshi, Honda, Hirato, Su Sumi, and when Akira, Akira pins Hirata. It was a fun match. It was an enjoyable match. It was a comedy match, but, you know, more like comedy with keeping your clothes on. So there you go. Next, we're getting to King of DDT. Um, let's, let's break it down. Uh, Higuchi, who I think, he, I don't know, man. I don't know. Like, I'm going to say something. But I'm not 100% behind it. And if anyone watches DDT, I kind of wonder if people agree or disagree. But I kind of think with people leaving DDT, Higuchi, is he like the ace? I know he's a big powerhouse, but I don't know. Higuchi uh, defeats, uh, you know, a brain call slam, 1057. 
Um, overall, good match. Higuchi is a warrior. Then you got Chris Brooks, the hardest working gaijin in all the lands. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. You, you mean you can get over as a foreigner and not wear a leather jacket and fucking complain about Japan? Impossible. Impossible. No, he doesn't. Uh, Chris Brooks defeats Akiyama. I want to pray him. And this bomb, 11 20. Not bad. Uh, opening matches. Pretty solid all around wrestling. Uh, Burning versus uh, Damnation TA. Endo and Suzuki defeat Suzaki and MJ Paul. Endo pinned Paul with that. But the bigger news is that um, Zack Ryder, what's Zack Ryder's indie name? James Legend's going to kill me, is coming to DDT uh, Peter Pan. I kind of regret because this one and the Super Juniors were in the same building. I kind of regret going, but I'm retired on a fixed income. I was like, damn, dude. Fucking, how much do I got to pay? Jesus. Like, I want to go to Peter Pan. But I'm just like, oh. Ugh. <laughs> I spent so much money following Muda. Ugh. I'm going to 31st to Noah. <laughs> I could always just say everything is awesome and get in and be a reporter and just tell you guys everything is awesome. But then I'd probably fucking want to punch myself in a goddamn dick every fucking day of my life. <laughs> just, just going to be honest. <laughs> Uh, imagine being a reviewer and only being positive or only being negative. Oh, God. They're the worst. You don't have to watch me, but don't watch them. Uh, let's see. Overall, it was it was okay. The announcement was the big. Special eight-man tag match. Hino, uh, uh, Tagaki, Harashima, and Doi defeated Mao, Kojima, uh, Karuku, and Mashara when Hino submitted Karuku, I don't give a fuck, dude. I'm gonna be completely honest, dude. I was trying to fake, fake, fake the funk. I, I didn't feel this fucking match at all. I didn't care for this match. It was nothing good, nothing bad. It was just there, you know. It was just there. Um, positive people will say it's amazing. Negative people would say it sucks. People that fucking live in the middle just be like, mm, "There's a fucking match, ten minute match, eight man tag. We've seen it before. We'll see it again." All right, now now business is about to get picked up, and that's the uh, semi-main event. You got the DDT Extreme Title Piercing Death Match. You got uh, Katsumata uh, defeating Okatani uh, with an inside cradle with 12:02, and I, I know like it's so weird because it was just an inside cradle win, but there was like you know the spikes in the head. There was. There's just a lot of damage done. That's a, you know, I feel like getting that clip from, uh, shit, what's that tape that sticks to everything? That's a lot of damage. Uh, it, it is, it is pretty, it is pretty intense, dude. And it's weird because, like, the one thing that got me is they had a pin and they just put it in his ear and let it stay there. I don't know, like, they're, like, they're killing each other with cactuses, uh, spikes, staples, uh, thumbtacks and like, hey, there's, they're, they're going all out. They're going all out. Threw them to some barbed wire and the thinnest board ever. <laughs> like, so there was a barbed wire board and they just threw them into it. But the board was so thin that it was just like, oh, it was, it was. If you like death matches, it was a good mat death match that it ends with an inside cradle. Um. Rick1982, also YouTuber and streamer, uh, mentioned this and via chat. I don't know where he got the news from. My source is Rick1982. Um, May has been a month of injuries in pro wrestling. DDT's Katsumata was injured during his piercing death match and now had to vacant both KOD tag titles and the DDT Extreme title. Hopefully no one else gets hurt this weekend. And I kind of agree with that. And here's the thing, too. Like I know a lot of people are going to be like, oh, it's a death match, it's a hardcore match. Why you got hurt? Uh, Ishimori fucking got hurt and he trust me he wasn't doing shit uh yeah so like just pro wrestling can be dangerous you know that's just the reality of it i know like some people are very anti-death match very pro being safe but i've seen like you know what i mean i don't know like i always see people be like well they they're safer in this company well, no they're not oh they, they're fucking safer with the fans in this company well, no they're not you just fucking blindly support corporations and don't live in the fucking real world. <laughs> That's it. Uh, tell me which company you want dirt on and I'll fucking tell you. If you're like, oh, but my company is so safe. All right, bring it in. What's your what's your initials? I'll tell you what they fucking they did wrong. Uh, you know, 
no 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 one is perfect nothing is perfect but it seems like everyone blindly defends some bullshit or blindly hates some bullshit and you know what don't do that don't do that watch wrestling have your opinions don't be a bitch that says everything is great don't be a bitch that says everything is horrible just try fucking kind of live there at the moment. But yeah, so if you're a very anti-deathmatch in spots, you might want to skip this one. If you're pro-deathmatch in spots, you'll probably want to see this one. Um, but overall, uh, it's pr pretty goddamn uh, good deathmatch. Uh, short, short, but they did a lot in that short time. Whoa, 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 whoa. Ghetto? That's not fair. I always pick on Ghetto. Come here, Ghetto. I'm really sorry, Ghetto. Ah! Sometimes I just pick on Ghetto too much, but it's all a pro wrestling. A long match doesn't mean a good match. Listen, if you came to me and said, I'll give you a 30-minute match with six double downs and 14 fucking outside the rings, I'd say, yeah, sure, and that shit up. Just give me the package that comes with the most action. That's it. Give me the package that comes with the most action. I would rather see a 12-minute decent death match or a 12, 14-minute match that fucking is like, damn, that was good. Stand up and clap. Like, Boys, that was fucking good. Then a 36, 45, 90-minute fucking match where I'm just like, <sighs> the slow burn that never pays off. <laughs> oh, my God. But that, that's a good nickname. I might have to. I might have to fucking. I might have to fucking start calling some matches that. It's a slow burn. It just never pays off. <laughs> You're like, don't worry. There'll be action later. Rainmaker. I, 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 well, I guess fucking that's it. I guess that's it, boys. Um, King of DDT 2023 final. Uh, you got. Uh, Higuchi, which I think is the ace, you got Chris Brooks, one of the hardest working foreigners, uh, Gaijin out there, um, does everything for Wrestle Universe. You probably like there is probably not an indie. Of, listen, dude, if Bullet Club was fucking real, Chris Brooks would be it. Chris Brooks is every fucking thing Bullet Club pretends to be. He doesn't have to wear a leather jacket. He doesn't have to do any of that fucking bullshit. He's a fucking foreigner who's working his ass off. If you go to probably any fucking indie event right fucking now, he's probably there. He's probably there fucking setting up the ring. He's probably there fucking working the back. He's probably there working a match. He's probably there doing commentary. Hey, you know what? I, I don't... What? Chris Brooks is here right now making sure the YouTube servers work. This guy is one of the hardest fucking working guys in the world. He, he wrestles like an X Division wrestler. Just imagine Alex Shelley stretched out, you know. So it's like, like if Sean Bradley and Alex Shelley and Kobe Bryant had a kid. You know, you got Sean Bradley's height. You got Alex Shelley's X Factor moves. I don't know if they're X Factor moves. I've been playing at EA Sports a little too much. X Division moves. <laughs> Sorry, I apologize. And then you got fucking Kobe's work ethic. Chris Brooks is the talk to fucking total package. And at first I was like, oh, this is have to be a regular match. But no, it was, it was good. It was stiff. It was busted open. Higuchi was not giving him anything easy. He was like, bitch, if you're going to be the king of DDT, you're going to have to earn this. Chris Brooks does defeat Higuchi with the ground octopus stretch. 24-28. Brings in his team. Everyone's excited. And possibly we could fucking do it. But yeah. Um, I am a big fan of Chris Brooks. I've been a big fan of Chris Brooks. I think what they did at New Japan Strong, hopefully I'll do a video on that, was amazing. I think what they did here was amazing. And hopefully New Japan at the Super Juniors does something amazing. There is so much wrestling, and it's so good. I just hope that keeps this up. Like, here's the thing. Legit, I am starting to get angry in a good way. I'm just like, dude, there's just too much good wrestling. There's legit too much good wrestling. The Super Juniors were good. The women's tournament in America was good. AEW minus the fucking, I'm not feeling this pay-per-view. Uh, Roman Reigns and Asuka is good. You know, you, you, I don't know. I'm just, I'm just enjoying pro wrestling. I am enjoying pro wrestling. I know the accent and not fucking sucking off every goddamn corporation is throwing you off. Because, you know, back in the day, you could have an opinion. Um... But outside of that, dude, this has been good. Uh, DDT, Extreme Comedy Beginning, Warning, Deathmatch, a couple matches that were like, 
not bad or good. They were just there, you know, huge announcements. And Chris Brooks, one of the hardest working guys in all of Japan wrestling that not many people know about unless you watch outside of New Japan. It just did an awesome job. So, I don't know. I might have to go to see Peter Pan. I, I just, I just, there's just so much goddamn wrestling. There's so much wrestling! Peter Pan is DDT's uh, thing. But overall, I give it a win. If you are going to check it out, um, it is on Wrestle Universe. Hashtag not an ad. Hashtag obviously. But it is a really good, de decent streaming service. They have DDT, uh, Gang Pro, which I don't know much about. Like, I think, like I don't know. There's something weird about Gang Pro. Like, I watch every show, and I feel like I know nothing. <laughs> I don't know if the shows are too far apart. I don't know if I'm getting old. But DDT uh, and TJPW. Uh, TJPW had a pretty rough show last time, so I'm just not going to review it. But hopefully they can bounce back from that rough show. Uh, they've had a couple rough announcements and a rough show but you know there was a lot of uh women wrestlers gone and there was also a lot of injuries so overall ddt a win um like comment subscribe we are coco sports on twitch twitter tiktok instagram facebook and the mean streets of yokohama oops i almost had the wrong thing up hey guys Doo -doo -doo -doo. and with that i am over Ba -na 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 -na. Hey, but on bum bum bum.